Hello there, I'm artist Aaron Rutten, and in this video I'm going to talk about the new versions of the Wacom Intuos tablets. That's the Wacom Intuos Draw, Art, Comic, and Photo. These are all kind of geared towards different kinds of artists, and it's really kind of more of a rebranding effort to help people be able to find the tablet that they need, rather than actually featuring any kind of new upgrades or improvements to the tablet, because honestly these new tablets are just about the same as the last version, which was the Intuos Pen & Touch, which I have here. Um, actually, in some ways, this tablet is better because it actually has an eraser. So let's go ahead and take a look at the different kinds of models and let's see how they're different from the older versions. So I'm here on Wacom's website. Here's the new Intuos models here. You can see that they look really nice. Now, visually, they're a little bit different from the old model. The express keys are kind of at a diagonal here. They're kind of a pill shape. You'll notice that there's this kind of dot matrix. I don't know if this is supposed to help you with doing precise drawing or whatever, if it's just a design element, but that's new. And then the pen, it looks like it's kind of downgraded almost. It looks like the older bamboo pen. It's missing the eraser, so that's kind of strange. But other than that, they have basically the same specs as the generation before. Draw is kind of the basic version, it's the most affordable, it doesn't support touch, but it would work well for drawing if you're just getting into drawing and sketching and you want to try it out, that would be a good recommendation. If you're kind of more of an intermediate artist and you want something a little more professional, you can go with the art. The art tablet has touch and it comes bundled with different digital painting software, it's a little more advanced and you can get this in a medium version, which is a little bit bigger. I recommend getting the bigger version if you're serious about drawing because it's nice to have more gesture space to draw with. And you can see here on the pen, there's no eraser. Let's take a look at Photo, which is a lot like the art tablet, except it comes bundled with photo editing software. Same goes for Comic. Comic is basically the same as art and photo, except it comes bundled with manga and animation software. So I'm going to pull up a little chart here. This will compare all the versions and specifications. This is the older version of the Intuos Pen and & Touch and the Intuos Pro, which hasn't changed at all, but is still the best professional quality tablet that you can get. And then here are the new versions here, the Draw, the Comic, the Photo, and the Intuos Art. And you can see that the specs are all pretty much the same. They have all of the same pressure levels. The draw is the only one that doesn't have a touch feature. They can all be upgraded to wireless, but the wireless kit is sold separately. In the Intuos Pro, it's included. And then here's where the major differences are in the bundled software. The draw comes with ArtRage Lite. The comic comes with Anime Studio and Clip Studio Paint Pro. The Intuos Photo comes with Paint Shop Pro, Aftershot Pro. Or if you're using Mac, it's Mac Fun Creative Kit or Aftershot Pro. If you get the Intuos Art, it comes with Corel Painter Essentials 5, which is a really good digital painting software program. And then the old version of the Intuos Creative Pen & Touch comes with Autodesk Sketchbook Express and ArtRage 3 Studio, which is a pretty good program for painting. The Intuos Pro comes with Autodesk Sketchbook Express and Corel Painter X3 trial version and Anime Studio. Now this is the bundled software for US customers, so that may be different than what you get if you live in another country. And this is subject to change because occasionally they do change the software that they bundle with their tablets. Now you can see here in the eraser, none of these newer versions have the eraser, but the older model does, as does the Intuos Pro. The USB cable length, I'm going to assume, is probably pretty short on these. I don't know that for a fact because I haven't actually had one of these hands-on and I don't see any specs on their website that says the cable length, but on my Intuos Creative Pen & Touch here that I have at home, the cable is pretty short. It's a lot longer on the Intuos Pro and that makes a difference when you're plugging this thing in. As far as express keys, all of the new models and the old model all have four express keys that can be customized to do keyboard shortcuts and other commands. The Intuos Pro has eight shortcut keys and a radial wheel that you can use to zoom in and out. As far as pen tilt, none of the new Intuos models have pen tilt. The Creative Pen & Touch does not support pen tilt, but the Intuos Pro does. And then down here at the bottom, you can see who these are recommended for. So if you're just doing light drawing, editing, and annotation, you're kind of a beginner, you're probably going to want to get the draw. If you're doing comic art and animation, you'll probably want the Intuos Comic because then you'll have access to this really good animation and drawing software. 
If you're a photo editor, it makes sense to get the Intuos Photo because then you'll have the photo editing software. If you're an intermediate painter, then you'll probably want the Intuos Art or the Intuos Pro or the Intuos Creative Pen and Touch, depending on how much money you want to spend. Now I recommend out of all of these tablets, which one should you get if money is not a concern? I would go with the Intuos Pro because it's really the all around best tablet that you can get right now for a USB tablet. All right, so I hope that answers some of your questions about the new Wacom Intuos tablets. If you enjoyed this video, take a quick second to click the like button and share this video with your friends. And you can subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos about tablets and digital painting. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.